Hi folks, um, today I'm just going to give you a quick demo of how Mitel Phone Manager integrates to Salesforce.com. So the Pro version of Phone Manager comes complete with a range of plugins for CRM applications and you enable those plugins by going to application support in the settings and adding a new one or in this case I'm going to show you how to edit the Salesforce.com plugin. So this information on the left hand side here is the selection of the Salesforce.com application in this case, the type of integration, in this case a screen pop, uh, and, the, and the options here are screen pop and call history. Screen pop simply uh, pops up the customer's contact record, whereas call history creates a new activity uh, record uh, linked to that contact. Uh, so that you can make notes about the call and save that for uh, for future reference. Uh, in this settings here, we're going to choose under the, the circumstances under which the uh, the screen pop will take place. Uh, I've got this set to, to when the call starts ringing for an external call, and I can choose whether that's uh, inbound, outbound, or, or both. In this field here, I'm going to choose the, the, the type of uh, number format so that we get a, a match to the way the uh, call uh, telephone numbers are, are stored in, in Salesforce.com. Um, and inside the, the actual uh, plugin itself, you can see uh, it's really simple to configure. You know, you put the, uh, the, the uh, account here that you're using to, uh, to, to uh, screen pop this particular uh, record, uh, username and password. In the security uh, settings here, you can set a, um, uh, a security token uh, and the URL that you're going to use. And you can choose which records to choose uh, to, to look up. In this case, uh, I'll select all three. Um, there's an option here for uh, what happens if you don't get a match to the caller ID. Um, I can check this box and it'll choose to automatically create a, a contact record if I wish, uh, a blank, a blank uh, record that I can then go on to complete. Um, when I do choose the option for call history, this is the type of call history config that it would set up, uh, the activity type. So I can choose to start the activity as an in-progress activity and I can choose the priority level to be uh, to be small uh, uh, to be uh, low, medium, uh, or normal. Um, I'm sorry. I meant to say low, low, normal, or high. Uh, this last tab here is the uh, browser choice. So, in this case, it'll simply use your default browser, uh, but you can force it to use Internet uh, Internet Explorer if you choose. So I'm just going to cancel out of these and notice that I've got two, I've got both types of integration configured here. So in the demo, I'm going to make an, an inbound call. We're going to see the contact record screen popped off the ringing event. And then we're going to see when I answer the call that it pops another tab with the activity record. So I'm just going to set up the call. You'll see the uh, phone manager toaster pop up. And there you see the contact record screen pop. I'm now going to answer the call. And you now see the activity record pop up. And it pre-populates the comments field with what information we know about this, uh, this particular customer. So you can see um, that that's useful to, as a starting point. And typically, I'd expect that the agent would then start typing notes. Maybe they say, Agree to call next week, and then they can save that uh, information. And now that's visible to the uh, the next person who who speaks to this customer. Um, if you do have integration to uh, to a call recorder, you can just see that there's a call recording hyperlink here. If I click it, it's going to pop up and uh, and play back the call recording. Uh, that took place the last time uh, that activity took place. So I'm just going to close that down. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, folks.